Okay, in this video I have a Smart 453 electric traction that has a BMS error. I have a Xentry diagnosis system right here. As you can see. We have the Star C6 system. It's the last version. This is updated. And uh, I think I will follow uh, the standard procedure, the standard Mercedes-Benz procedure to see if it works and, uh, and then uh, if, uh, if all fails I will have to take down the battery and uh, open it. Let's see how this will end. So here we are. The car has been detected automatically. I will launch the initial quick test. So uh, we are looking for the N82, that's the battery management system, that's where we have our problem, there it is right here. I will continue with the diagnose on this device. Okay, it's communicating with the battery management system and uh, here's our problem on one of the cells we have uh, 3.55 the other cells have 365 volts as you can see the different cell voltage it's 101 102 millivolts so that's over the 100 millivolts limit and uh, that's where the, b the battery management system uh, went off it's where it went uh, in uh, auto protection mode so it's blocking the powertrain system even the charging doesn't charge doesn't activate the powertrain doesn't communicate we we will go further to see if, if this uh, this procedure works the one uh, i'm talking about okay I will show you uh, 
the codes uh, that uh, it will give you in this case right here the error codes okay so uh, there you have P1D2771 it's the first one they're all talking uh, about the same problem frequency counter switcher cycles of contactors of high voltage battery module will soon reach its final value the actuator is blocked as you know that actuator blocks uh, in many uh, different by many different reasons could be an accident could be because it's in junkyard mode that's uh, where the the BMS uh, it's starting a, a source of uh, auto destruct system on the battery um, right here we have to do with a uh, with a new car, this has uh, uh, 20,000 miles, uh, miles, kilometers on the dashboard and uh, it's uh, nothing like that, uh, it didn't have an accident uh, has nothing to do uh, with uh, physical damage, I will call it like that this one stopped on the highway and uh, it remained there so uh, the standard procedure um, uh, is telling me to deactivate the the high voltage electrical system as you can see right here on your right we have uh, this option right here high voltage on board electrical system so i will go there to see what options do i get uh, on your left, uh, as you can see, I have power disable, high voltage on board electrical system, initial startup of high voltage. So I have the the disable the the shut off option. This one to deactivate, and uh, I also have the reactivation option. Okay. No training authorization essential. Okay, these are the cautions, the required qualifications to do this job right here. I am qualified. <laughs> so uh, I will do the shutdown. I will choose yes. Okay, important note. The 12 volt battery is not disconnected from the vehicle. For the second one, work. Further procedure. Perform power disable on water according to specific work description. Okay, important notes. Launch uh, system by pressing, but not the bottom. Okay. Uh, I disable voltage on the world and disable automatically. Okay. So let's see. So I'm under the car. This is the rear right side. And as you can see on the right side of the battery, you you have this plug right here. What you see right here is the it's the high power plug. It reacts like a fuse. First you will have to take off this foam protection right here. Then you will pull you will release the green secure by pressing here and lifting it up this will uh, go out without no problem so that's the way you you take down the the high power uh, voltage 
and then you will go back to the Xentry Diagnose to update the BMS. So let's go. So it's important that after you take out the plug, the high power plug, you go to the power disable of the high voltage onboard electrical system. Go right here. So you will confirm that. After we will go to the update mode. So updating uh, updating the BMS. You will have to do the quick test. You will go on the battery management system. Okay, continue. You will go on the uh, adaptations right here. Okay, adaptations. Control unit update. Updating control unit software. Okay, it's starting. You you can't do this until you you take off the 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 big fuse I shown you first right there from the high power voltage. So you have to be careful about that. So let's go. So this is the programming state of the BMS as you can see I have about nine minutes until the process ends after that I will have to reactivate the high power voltage and see what it happens <laughs> 